commas to clarify meaning. Commas can be used in many different ways, including to separate items in a list, to separate clauses, to clarify meaning, in direct speech, and with certain words used at the beginning of a sentence. In this nugget, we are going to learn when to use commas to clarify meaning in your writing. A comma can be used to make it clear to the reader which parts of the sentence go together. Commas can be used to make the meaning of the sentence clearer. A famous example of using commas to clarify meaning is this sentence. Let's eat grandma. This sentence suggests that we should eat grandma. But by including a comma in this sentence, let's eat grandma, we are inviting grandma to eat. The comma saves grandma's life. Look at the following sentences and think about how commas could help you to clarify the meaning of these sentences. Remember that commas act as a slight pause in the sentence. As you read the sentence aloud, think about where you naturally pause. Pause the video if you need more time to do this. Let's look at our first sentence. Most of the time travellers only need one suitcase. Without a comma, this sentence suggests that it is time travellers who only need one suitcase. The comma placed here makes it clear that it is travellers who only need one suitcase most of the time. Most of the time, travellers only need one suitcase. Mark walked behind the beaver holding a camera. Without a comma, this sentence suggests that it's the beaver who's holding the camera. By placing a comma here and therefore adding a pause, the sentence has changed its meaning. Mark walked behind the beaver holding a camera. The comma makes it clear that Mark is the one holding the camera. And finally, the police chased the clown in a fast car. Here, the clown is in a fast car and the police are chasing. If we add a comma, the police chased the clown in a fast car, it makes it clear that the police are the ones in a car. In summary, commas can be used to make the meaning of the sentence clearer. Read the sentence aloud and think about if you need a pause in the sentence. 